All right, hello, your turns again. Sorry about the mishap last time, and I'm afraid I've had to split this across two videos. Now, as I said, today we're hunting for the equation of a line. So can you all please draw a line on a Cartesian plane that goes from a y-intercept of 1 up to the point 3, 4. Now, every time in this topic you see find an equation of a line, you need to think, right, equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. Now, in equations of lines, we like having y's and x's, but m's and c's are not so good. Instead of them, we need to replace them with numbers. Now, this process of finding a line is not painful at all. Rather, we have to draw a line to start with. We have to find m first and then c. Where m first is slope and c second we find by substitution. Alright, think c substitute. But first, m. Now, one way to find m, as we saw in the previous video, is draw a little man and think about him walking up that escalator. He needs to walk up one, two, three. So we say y, we say m equals rise over run. Then the rise will be three, and the run, how far he has to go across is another 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, if you'd rather use the equation where m is equal to y2 take y1 over x2 take x1, you need to label the points x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, y2 is 4 minus y1 of 1 divided by x2 of 3 minus y x 1 of 0, 4 minus 1 is 3, over 3 takes 0 is 3, giving us a total of, not 0, of 1. So it doesn't matter if we choose to simply count how many across and how many up, or if we just use the formula, we still get a slope of 1. Now once we found the slope of 1, our equation is not y equals mx plus c anymore simply because we know that m is 1. So 1 lot of x plus c. Right. And when we see c, it's second and we substitute. So we can substitute either point, it doesn't matter which. Let's take this one. Now substituting means replacing the x and y with the points, with the coordinate points. So we're saying that in our case, y equals 4 and x equals 3 y equals 4 and x equals 3 plus c. Using the algebra we did yesterday, we rearrange. So now that c is equal to, well, 4 take 3 is 1. What if we chose the, had chosen the other point? So instead of substituting in the point 3, 4, we could have substituted the point in 0, 1. Meaning that when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 plus c. Therefore, c is also equal to 1. So it doesn't matter which point we choose, we're still going to get the same c. And now our equation is equal to y equals 1 lot of x plus 1. All right. So a simple one to start, but the process is what's important. We find m first, which is our slope. Then we find the second through substitution. So, copying this one now. Find the equation of a line which has a gradient of minus 3 and passes through the point negative 3, 4. Alright, 
we see find the equation of the line, we think y equals mx plus c. Now, we know that m is first, m is the slope, or the gradient. Fortunately, we're told this here. We're told that it is minus 3. So we can replace this as y equals minus 3 lots of x plus c. Now, when we see c, and we've done m, then we need to think substitute. Okay, so this is our point. That's its x, and that's its y. We substitute in any point. We're only told one, so we can just choose that one. So y is 4. That equals minus 3. That's the m, multiplied by the point. x equals minus 3. Plus c. 4 equals minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. Plus c. c is equal to 4 take 9 is negative 5. So now, from our starting equation up here, y equals mx plus c, we found m, it was given, and then we substituted in a point to find c. So our equation line is y equals minus 3x minus 5, and that's the c. All right. Now, I want today's practice to be focused solely on finding the equations of the line. The first couple of questions involve finding the equation or finding the slope. But using the skills you've just learned in the last 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, I'd like you to go through the following questions. And that is page 171, questions 1 to 10. And I know that's a lot, but some of them you have to do quite quickly. And just the green sections. So look at the top bar on page 171 to see which parts of the questions the green would like you to do. You have the entire double and you have homework. So I expect you to see them finish when I see you on Monday.